Hello traders, FS Pekulati here. Today is Friday, February 16th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Euro dollar monthly, I'm still very bullish overall. I still think this is going to, on the higher time frames, continue to go up. I still believe eventually it's going to go up and take out these highs and go all the way up to one of these higher Fibonacci extension levels. So, taking it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we've definitely been going down for several weeks right now, which is why I'm still looking for sorts on sort of time frames. But I still suspect that this move up is a 1 and that this move down is a corrective wave 2. And I still think it's eventually going to go up for wave 3. But until we get proof that it is going up, I am definitely still going to continue to look for sorts on sort of time frames. So going down to the daily time frame. So daily time frame, I still suspect that this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave 1. I still think this push down right here is most likely a wave 2. I still think there's a very good chance eventually this is going to go up and make a wave 3. Now we are at a 61% Fib level and we do have a little bit of a bounce here. But so far we do not have a break of structure uh, to the upside. We do not have a higher low. We really do not have any proof at all that this really is the end of a wave 2. So until I at least get a break of starts on this daily time frame uh, really from the daily to like the weekly until I get like a break of starts up to the upside I definitely will continue to look for sorts on sort of time frames I mean it very easily could just go down to the 78.6 before it does break starts up to the upside and keep on going up which is why I will definitely continue to trade with the trend until these higher roadmap time frames tell me otherwise so going down to the four hour time frame on the 4 hour time frame, definitely a pretty strong move to the upside, but like I said, no break of sorts to the upside as of yet. I still am looking for this as a possible sort. The only thing that's going to turn me into a buyer is seeing this thing go up and break sorts in a big way. If I do see that, then I definitely will become a buyer, but as of right now, I am definitely still looking for sorts in a downtrend. So heading right down to the 1 hour time frame. 1 hour time frame, the move up is very strong. And ever since we have a break of structure on the 1 hour time frame, if you are a scalper, ever since we got this break of structure on Wednesday, you could have been looking for longs this whole time. But for me, as more of a swing slash day trader, I am definitely still waiting for a Fibonacci bounce. I'm waiting for something like this. And I'd like to see a nice impulsive down, nice break of structure. If I do see that picture right here, then I definitely will take it as another sorting opportunity for the continuation of the downtrend. And on the other hand, we do have some dollar news today, so if it does go up, if it does break Strutzer to the upside and hold above Strutzer, then I will stop looking for sorts and start looking for longs again. And that pretty much will prove to me that the wave 2 is possibly over on the longer time frames. But daily time framing up, no proof that the wave 2 is over. That means for me, trading the 1 to 4 hour time frame, which is the time frames I trade, I personally am definitely still looking for sorts in a downtrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.